Lake Menteith, the super famous lake in Scotland. It offers fantastic trout fishing, but we're here for the pike. We want to know if it's better to fish with them on jerkbait or on the fly. So we've put two teams together to thrash it out. This is Fluff v Jerk. In Team Fluff, we have our very own chicken chucker, the master caster. It is Hal Morgan. Big flies for big pike. And he's picked his boat partner, Dougie Lorridge, from Glasgow Angling Centre. Good choice, Mr. Morgan, as Dougie is a fantastic pike fly tyre and fisherman. In Team Jerk, it's Chris and Juan from Angling Active Sterling. Juan is all the way from Spain, so I hope he's bought a coat. Chris, along with his dad, owns and runs Active Angling in Sterling and looks like the lure shelves have been raided, along with anything with SIM stamped on it. So, what tactics are we using today? In general, we're using 9 and 10 weight rods, which we've got here. Uh, large arbor reels and a pike specific fly line. Right. Um, your normal 7 and 8 weights and normal lines aren't going to cut it. You need a powerful rod, something that's going to play the fish in quickly, get it in. And you also need a line that's going to be able to cast the kind of wind resistant heavy flies. Yep. So, very aggressive front weight forward tapers on them. Today we're going to be using a fixed spool spinning reel. Uh, we have about 30 pound braid. On this setup here, we've got a hard a, articulated hard bait with a rattle inside that hopefully, hopefully we can tempt the pike with. On our other setup, again fixed spool setup, we've got a soft, a soft bait with a curled tail, an alien eel with a lead head. We should be able to bump that right along the bottom. Juan gets to wear the Active Angling Company cap. So Juan, how do we say let's go pike fishing in Spanish? Vamos a por los días. So let's hit the water <laughs> and get casting. The rules are simple. The pike have to be caught and unhooked at the boat or in the net. Anything estimated over 10 pounds should be weighed. Winner is the team with the most pike caught. The team with the biggest fish get the bragging rights. Team Jerk are off to a flying start and pulled up on a sunken island not far from the lodge. And after just a couple of casts, Chris has the first fish of the comp. So I think we're playing a trout here. I can tell by the... I can tell by the fight it's not a pike. It's not as powerful as a pike would be. No pike, no points. It's still no score. Uh, make sure you want that fly right in hill because they'll follow you right up to the, Got ya. the lift off. So really, really fish the hand. Exactly. Exactly. Team Flyer stalking the shallows around a large island, and it looks like Dougie may be on to the first score. This one doesn't look like it's going to get them bragging rights, but it's perfectly formed and worthy of the first point. It's at the boat and unhooked without being touched by human hands. The perfect catch and release from Dougie there. <laughs> oh, I mean, pick your bones out of that, man. Team Jerk may be spending a lot of their time roaming around the lake, but they think they might be on the hot spot. But it's quite weedy. So what's the plan? Yeah, so what we've done here is with uh, there's normally a treble in the bottom. Taking that treble off to, to cut down and it's snagging on the weed as much. And it allows me to take it through the weed with the pike are. Team Jerk showing excellent fishing skills there, and it seems to be paying off as Juan is into his first pike. The jacks are angry today, and this one has taken a lure the same size as itself. It may be a pike with a little pee, but it's a point on the board for Team Jerk. Juan is just learning the hard way that putting your thumb in a pike's mouth is not going to pacify it in any way. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Blood, sweat, and tears to get that fish. Back with Team Fluff, and they got into the standard Morgan rhythm of chatting and not concentrating. Oh. Oh. 
Who mm. does he talking about? He comes back oh. for another go. Team Fluff moves ahead with two points. Back with Team Jerk, and it looks like the weed is still playing havoc. There's quite a lot of weed in this area here, so I'm going to change the lure I'm on because I'm catching weed with pretty much every cast to one of these. I'm less likely to catch up in the weed with one of these spinner baits. Look at my weedless lure. Look at my weedless lure. <laughs> Juan has a golden touch today and he reels in another fish. It's a brownie. It's a brownie. Oh. <laughs> well done. Well done, it's a nice fish. Nice. What, what a lovely looking brownie. Almost makes us feel like you deserve a point. Uh, no. Oh, you just woke up. <laughs> That's number three for the fluff chuckers, and they seem to be growing in size. I feel some bragging rights coming on, unless Team Jerk can top that. Fish on. It's not as big, but it's another well earned point for Team Jerk. <laughs> oh. Hey, I'm starting to like this spike lack. Well, I'm not. Look, he's after your fly as well, mate. <laughs> well done, mate. Let's get a bite and get a granny. There you go. Time is ticking on and coming to a close, but wait, Team Jerk are piling on the catches last minute. Pipe this time. I think they're pipe. Yep. Is that about three pounds? Oh, came off. Long distance catch release there. And it was a really gentle take just under the boat. So I don't think it was hooked that. that that well, hence why it's came off. But taking that bottom lure off, Ian. Well done, one. <laughs> take, take that for your fish tank, yeah. Well done. With just a few minutes left, it's four pike apiece, and Team Jerk have the bragging rights for the smallest pike on the biggest lure. Hey, Doggy, see, I changed to your lure, mate, and guess what? Fish on! <laughs> just, just waking up now. You want to come down? Now that's a better fish, and what a great way to end the comp. Seems like the bragging rights go to Team Fluff. Team Jerks say they caught six pike, yet our cameras only caught four and two trout. So like the other mythical unphotographed Scottish water monster, these will remain a mystery. <laughs> she nearly gave me a kiss, oh, he nearly gave me a kiss. <laughs> yes!